So over here at Satori Accounting, we have a kind of understanding or a basis upon which we try to deliver our, our services for our, our family business clients and, and all of our limited companies and sole traders and so on. And it's founded on the understanding that um, we need to help clients to join the dots. More specifically, to join the number dots. And it's something that I'm starting to work with a lot of family business owners um, on now, which is looking at your personal finances alongside your business finances and joining the dots between those two things. So we have a tool and a report we're going to be giving to some clients who are interested um, to look at their actual life money plan for the years ahead and helping them to link what their business is doing now compared to what they needed or wanted to do in the future to give them the life money plan for um, their exit from the business and their eventual retirement, how they're going to look after their children's education. Um, maybe they're looking to put money away to allow their kids to get onto the property market. Um, that join the dots and join the number of dots exercise is all important. But it starts off with good systems in place for your business and good compliance. Uh, and no one ever gets rich by dodging the tax man. That's the truth of the matter. I've actually done that exercise with a client this morning at its sort of introductory level, which was really getting the client to understand that in order to pay out what they currently need to pay out, and they've got a few arrears in a few different areas. So to maintain their earnings from the business and to catch up on some arrears that they, they have personally and in the business, it's given them a number that they can work with. So it's given them a number from the sort of bottom up approach. So how much profit does the business need to earn? What does your overheads need to look like for the year ahead? Uh, what kind of gross margin do you have to achieve in your business? And the one number I then give them is a weekly turnover figure. So this client is involved with services involving uh, installations um, for domestic home users. I'll say no more than that, but it, that covers really a range of industries, I suppose. And I'm now giving them, here's the number of installation jobs that you need to complete at an average value of X every single week. And for them, it's actually, they've got to do something like three per fortnight, so like one and a half a week. And that's now something they have to focus on in terms of how do we market this? How do I follow up on sales? How do I get more referrals? How can I make sure I achieve that? I don't think it's unachievable in their case, but it's just giving them some number that they can hook onto that's actually going to join the dots into their personal financial situation as well. If that's something you'd like your accountant to be doing, then why not give us a shout? I'd be more than happy to chat you through what the process looks like.